Money to cover your losses. I was around when it was happening. Okay, okay. I needed some temporary help. I mean, I, for Christ's sake, I mean, after a lifetime of hard work, a man doesn't sit still and watch himself get down the toilet. I mean, does he? And moving around funds is certainly not stealing. Without asking or telling anyone. Look, listen to me. Every cent was accounted for with interest. I don't think they would see it that way. So this is it, right? This is what you plan on doing. You're going to hold on to me with threats, right? Stupid threats and slander. This is your idea of love, right? I will not be tossed out. I want to speak to Miriam. Think, for Christ's sake, think, think what the hell you're doing to me, will you? Please. I can't figure it out. I need you. I love New York. I was born in that building right there, behind the, the guy, uh, the statue there, behind the pedestal. I love New York. It's like, a, it's like thousands of uh, straight lines just looking for a punchline, you know? And what makes New York such a funny place is that there's so much tension and pain and misery and craziness here. And they got, that's the first part of comedy. But see, you got to get some distance from it, you know what I mean? That the, main, the thing to remember about comedy is if, it's, if it bends, it's funny. If it breaks, it's not funny. So you got to get back from the pain, you see what I mean? But the, the, uh, the, like they said, they asked me up in, uh, uh, at Harvard, a bunch of kids asked me, what, what's comedy? So I said, and then this, this is part of what I'm trying to say about getting back from it. They, I, I said, comedy is tragedy plus time. Tragedy plus time. See, when the night Lincoln was shot, you couldn't joke about it. You couldn't make a joke about that. He just couldn't do it. Now, time has gone by, and now it's fair game. See what I mean? It's tragedy plus time. Okay, we're out. That's it? So fast? I shut up ten rolls on your first question. All right, I gotta, I gotta get to CBS anyway. Remember where we were. We'll start this again tomorrow. Just, just remember what I was saying. Right. Thanks. Right. Absolutely. I think I'm too cute. I'm going no. to do it more. I'm going to be more relaxed Excellent. tomorrow, you know? I'm going to do that tragedy stuff. I got good stuff on that. Yeah, this is Hallie Listen, Reed from would Mr. You, Curtis, Would you excuse please? me one second? Just, listen, I know I told you this before, but if you play your cards right, you could have my body. Wouldn't you rather leave it to science? Oh, That's you okay, listen, I'll wait. You, Thank you. I'm offering you my heart. You're squashing it. Come on. When are you going to quit this organization? Come work for me. Oh, you'd fire me. I'm much too opinionated. No, no, no. It's okay, I, I'll wait. I like, I like mental stimulation. You, know? you tried shock therapy? <laughs> that's good, that's funny. Listen, that's very Lester, good. I'm sorry, but we've got... Okay, oh, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be right with you. Wait Wait in the car for me. Wait in the car. Arthur, wait in the car. I'll Would be you right please with you. come? Yes, you wait promise? in the car, Arthur. Wait in the car. Yes, yes. I, I was holding for Mr. Curtis, what do you please. Think? How about it's Holly this? Reed. What do you, why don't you come with me down to Barbados? We'll swim, you know, we'll get some sun. Sorry, I freckle. That's my best shot. I can't do any better than that. That's okay. okay I, look, think I, about wait. it. Okay, please think about it. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh. Um. Yeah, it's Hallie Reed. You cut me off. Okay. Excuse me. We haven't officially met. Hi, I'm Hallie Reed. I'm one of the associate producers. I'm Clifford Stern. Can I ask you the same question that I asked the producer? What do you bother with this guy for? I mean, he's, you know, he's such a pompous boy, and your show does such great profiles. Well, listen, I'll tell you, just between you and me, I wanted to do Gabriel Garcia Marquette. So that's but perfect. they like to mix it up. They like a little variety. After all, he is an American phenomenon. Yeah, but so is Acid Rain. Boy, you really don't like him, do you? I love him like a brother. David Greenglass. So why, why are you doing this show? It's very unusual for them to bring in an outside person like this. Well, yes, I know. I'm, I'm doing it strictly for the money. I want to, you know, I'm trying to make oh. my own documentary on, I'm doing a profile on a guy who would be absolutely perfect for your show. He would be worthy. Yeah? Who's that? His name is Louis Levy. Do, do, do you have a little time? Now, the unique thing that happened to the early Israelites was that they conceived a God that cares. He cares, but at the same time, he also demands that you behave morally. But here comes the paradox. What's one of the first things that that God asks? That God asks Abraham to sacrifice his only son, his beloved son, to him. In other words, in spite of millennia of efforts, we have not succeeded to create a really and entirely loving image of God. This was beyond our capacity to imagine. 
Boy, he's really interesting. I know, this is a fascinating guy. He could be guy. wonderful for the series. Well, that would be great. You want to dump Lester and do him? Because I would love to, you know, we, we could scrap Lester. We can't dump Lester, but I think I could talk them into a little financing for you. And if this, you know, if all this comes together right, and it should, I, I, I can tell you right now, we got some free spots in the fall schedule. That would be wonderful. For me to get something on your series would be such a feather in my cap here. Yeah. Thanks. You know, that would be great. That would be the biggest audience I ever had. Well, great. You know, let's work on it. Let's let's make it happen. Really? I got Thank so much you. good footage on him. You know, even though we just met, I've taken an instant liking to you. And I to him. Hi. I thought I'd come by on my way home. I, I got Jenny a present. Okay, come here. Yeah. You want the clip? Yes, Jenny. I got you something. I got you a great book. I got you an absolutely terrific book. Hi. I got you this great book with great pictures of old New York in it. Look at this. Here, look at this. This is old oh Fifth God. Avenue. See? This I told you. Great. Carriages and top hats, I told you. And there's a whole section on speakeasies here, which is really interesting. And this, that's the Flatiron Building.